Okay, Dr. Debbie McCullen, and uh, I am in the Department of History. My thesis is on the history of health and healthcare in Trinidad and Tobago uh, from 1938 to 62. Why did you choose that area? Because it was a neglected area in history, um, in fact, and I felt as though that we had explored um, social history in Trinidad and Tobago to such an extent, yet we had totally excluded the history of health from that exploration. And I think that if we are to write an accurate history, if we are to write the true history of our country, um, we have to include that perspective. And so seeing that it had been excluded, I felt that someone needed to do it and I was probably not a bad choice <laughs> to explore it. So. And having gone deeper into that, um, into that part of our history, did anything really strike you um if you had to pull just one major thing that came out of it that really touched you personally is there anything that jumps out i think how underestimated the impact of um, traditional medicine has been and traditional medical practitioners um, has been to our understanding of healthcare in Trinidad and the fact that so many of the practitioners as well consider themselves, you know, as not a, a large part of, you know, who we've become as people and our understanding of self and of our bodies and of our identity. And I felt as though in doing this that I had to highlight their experience and how Bush medicine and Bush medicine practitioners, you know, and the average mother in the home, and you know, just collecting, you know, fever grass and boiling it for your family. How that changed our society and impacted our society and preserved our society for so long. And I felt as though, you know, the Western medical tradition that has been lauded for such a long time, but the underlying traditional medicine that we haven't really focused on that enough and so in my work I try to do that and in my research outside of the thesis I wanted to focus on that as well. And who inspired you? God. God inspired me. Um, having that grounding, having that understanding that what you do is larger than yourself and that there is a bigger mission, there's a bigger vision in life and that you're just a simple part of it, um, that inspires me and I want to ensure that I follow through and I achieve what I have been sent here to do. And we saw that you were holding a picture of some ladies in your hand, yes. who are they? Um, this is an example really of um, the first batch of nurses, student nurses, this is in the 1950s, um, who are predominantly as you see here African women. And I just wanted to tell their story. So I've been inspired by the people who worked in the field, worked in the area, um, and who have not, as I said, really, I don't think they have understood their contribution, nor has their contribution recognized to the extent that it should have been. So one of these women I actually interviewed, and she allowed me to use this picture in my thesis. Um, and as I said, it was in the 1950s. Um, a batch of student nurses and just hearing their stories inspired me to continue my work and to ensure that they were recognized in the history of health and healthcare and social history in Trinidad.